YouTube. What's going on? With DP coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some boxing. We had a busy night in the sport of boxing. Two fights. Heavyweights. Then we had a fight at 130. ESPN. These fights were basically polar opposites. Anthony Joshua, Robert Hellenius. The fight was sort of lethargic, but it had a nice inning. Joshua needed that stoppage in the seventh round. Started to get busted up. His face was, you know, show some wear and tear. I mean, Joshua was definitely in the fight against Robert Hellenius. Then you had 130. 130, Oscar Valdez versus Emmanuel Neverete. That fight was action-packed from the start. Talk about a Mexican war. Slugfest. The fight was a slugfest. So we're going to break it down. Talk about both of these fights. Had an action-packed night in boxing. So we're going to talk some boxing before I start the video. Please put the tire in these last cards. Shout out to content like this. Kind of about sports and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, Anthony Joshua had a seventh round stoppage against Robert Hellenius. A late step in. I broke this fight down a few days ago. Check it out. Anthony Joshua, psh, he hasn't changed. He's regressing in the ring. Anthony Joshua doesn't throw any combinations. He throw one punch at a time. No feints. He's scared to let his hands go. He's scared to commit. Anthony Joshua. He did set up the knockout, I guess you could say, because he was jabbing to the body, you know, throughout the fight. Then he came over top with the right. But overall, Joshua, he's regressing. If we want to be real. I know he got with Derrick James. I don't know if he's caught in between styles or what it is. But Joshua, AJ, he does not want to commit. He doesn't want to take chances. He doesn't faint. You know, he doesn't explode. Like, I don't I don't see how he's going to stand in the ring with Wilder. He's just going to be like a, unless he attacks Wilder and really bring the fight to Wilder, I don't, I don't know how he's going to handle Deontay Wilder. If the fight even happens. I don't think the fight's going to happen. Eddie Hearn's going to come up with some more bullshit and try to recycle the Dillian White fight. You know how Eddie Hearn does. He talks a great game. But they say the fight could be set up in Saudi Arabia. You know, they have 100 million for these fighters, these heavyweights, Deontay Wilder and Joshua. But Hellenius, he, he was working a jab. He was, he was tagging Joshua. Joshua had a bloody nose. I was busted up. It wasn't an easy fight for Joshua. I know the fight went longer than, you know, Derrick James and Joshua probably wanted it to go. Let's be real. Let's be real. Because that fight... Supposed to be done, you know, four or five rounds, tops. You know, he was just coming off a fight a week ago, Robert Hellini. So he was a late step in. Joshua, lethargic, one punch at a time, won't commit. Derrick James kept saying, get inside, come, get close to him. You can close the, close the distance. Doesn't want to close the distance, Anthony Joshua. Doesn't want to close the distance. But we had an action-packed fight, ESPN, 130, Emmanuel. Neverette versus Oscar Valdez. Yes, 130. That was an action-packed fight. Valdez's eyes closed up. Neverette fighting with one hand. It was a brutal. This was a war. It was a war. These guys going back and forth. Back and forth. Fight of the year. Candidate as far as just, you know, the action in the ring. You know, as far as the action in the ring. Definitely one of the best fights we've seen this year. These guys going toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Emmanuel Neverette 37 and 1 coming into this fight. Now he's 38 and 1. I think Oscar Valdez was 31 and 1. Because he lost to Shakur Stevenson. Oscar Valdez lost to Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson just outclassed him. You know, just outboxed him. But this was a great fight. Unanimous decision for Emmanuel Neverette. He's a great fighter. Let his hands go. This fight was action packed. The fight was action packed. Interested to see where Oscar Valdez go from here. You know, it's the second loss. You know, when he step up to these big fights like Shakur Stevenson, Neverette, can't get over that hump. Eddie Reynoso, got to get him together. Got to get him together. Seems like Canelo the only guy, you know, that, that strives with, you know, Eddie Reynoso. But let's see how it play out. Definitely had an action-packed night for boxing. Definitely had an action-packed night. You know, I had to break it down, so... See where these guys go from here. See what Joshua do. I don't think, hope the Wilder fight happened. I don't think it will. Eddie Hearn's going to come up with some more BS. He's going to recycle some more old guys. Some shit like that. 
try to bring Andy Ruiz back into the mix or something like that, but I hope not. Hope not. Hope we get Wilder Joshua, you know, coming, you know, either later this year or early 2024. They say Saudi Arabia have 100 million for these guys, but let me know what y'all think. Drop something down in the comments. I'm going to keep the fire coming. Got my subscribers, but you can help share the video. And we're going to knock another one out. Let's get it.